This is the narcissist's ultimate weakness. This is something that the narcissist likes excessively. This is one thing that they are unable to resist. Narcissists have a lot of weaknesses. They are very insecure. They are anxious about themselves. They lose their temper suddenly and unexpectedly. They are very impulsive. They do things without thinking of the potential consequences. They have an inability to tolerate unpleasant feelings or stressful situations. They cannot tolerate when a situation doesn't go their way. These are all weaknesses that the narcissist has. But there is one that is their ultimate weakness. And it is something that if we were more like them, we could easily exploit. We could easily take advantage of it. The narcissist's ultimate weakness is that they believe they are smarter than everyone else. They believe that they are better than everyone else. So they don't even consider that someone could be smarter than them. Which leads them to underestimate other people. They will especially underestimate the intelligence of the people around them. Especially you as their source of supply. They forget that the reason why they targeted you in the first place was because you're an intelligent person. It was because you have the capabilities and potential that they were looking for. They forget this because they have to think that they're right. They have to think they know everything. But what they don't realize is that by doing this, they're actually putting themselves at risk of being exploited. Because they're underestimating you. They're estimating you to be less important and less capable than you really are. While thinking that they're always right. Which gives you the opportunity to damage their ego and pride. It gives you the opportunity to humiliate them. To lower their high opinion of themselves. To make this person who is behaving in an arrogant and unpleasant way realize that they are not as important or talented as they think. But that's only if you choose to do that. Maybe you don't want to do that. Most of us are unable to act in the way that narcissists do. There is a line that we cannot cross. Narcissists are stuck in a state where they are never happy or satisfied. They have this need to constantly take from people without giving anything in return. They can never appreciate or care about anyone. They can never be intimate with you. They willfully cause harm to you without feeling any remorse. Which is something that we cannot do. We cannot harm a narcissist or anyone else without feeling like we've done something wrong. Without feeling shame and remorse. But a narcissist is never going to think that way. They're not going to change. 
because they have to think that they're better than everyone else. That's the only way that they can feel secure. They cannot be vulnerable. They're too fragile and weak to see themselves as they actually are. They have to feel like they are superior to you. And that's where their weakness lies. From believing that they are superior to you. From believing that no one can outsmart them. And then their obsessive need to have power and control. If you wanted to manipulate the narcissist, it would be very easy. Because they believe that they have no weaknesses. They believe that they have no disadvantages or faults. Which means that they're not going to be on guard. They're not going to be anticipating your attack. Because they believe they're better than you. They believe they're smarter than you. which computes in their minds as them being able to do whatever they want which is their weakness because they think people are stupid they think people show a great lack of intelligence or common sense so they think that they can trick or deceive you they think they can hide the truth from you they think they can misdirect you to gain an advantage over you and sometimes they do manage to trick people who are very intelligent. Which makes them feel invincible. It makes them feel like they're untouchable. As though they are unable to be matched or rivaled. But once you realize what you're actually dealing with, you can manipulate them. It's just that most people choose not to. They don't see it as though it's anything significant or relevant. They don't see it as though it's even worth their time to manipulate a narcissist. Narcissists are so predictable. No matter where you're from in the world, you all relate to my videos. So many people comment on my videos saying that it's like I personally know the narcissist in your life. Because they are so predictable. They all do the same things. They all use denial, projection, blame shifting, word salad and gaslighting. They all use love bombing and devaluation. They all share the same strategies. It's like they all read from the same book. Narcissists do not want to admit to themselves what they've really been through. They don't want to admit to themselves who they really are. They don't want to admit their flaws or imperfections. They don't want to consider that someone could be better than them or more intelligent than they are. But there is no point confronting them on this. It's only going to cause a narcissistic injury and narcissistic rage. It's only going to give them another reason to want to destroy you. They don't want to solve their issues. They don't want you to be happy without them. They don't want you to grow or develop well. They want you to be miserable just like they are. Because they hate themselves.
and they need you to live your life as a reflection of how they see themselves so that they can feel like there's something wrong with you and nothing wrong with them. Which is why they have to manipulate and control you. But that doesn't mean that you have to manipulate them. That doesn't mean that you have to get revenge. It's a waste of time. It's not going to solve anything. Even just wanting to get revenge on someone is very unhealthy behaviour. And it will affect you. If you really want to get revenge on a narcissist, you don't have to hurt them. Just live your life. Be happy without them. Take away your attention. Act like they don't even exist. That is the most effective way to get revenge on a narcissist. Because there's nothing more distressing for a narcissist than feeling like they have lost control over you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.